live. Welcome everybody. Welcome guys to another episode of Let's Chat with I Carry and Brown. Let me know if you can hear me on the live. So guys, how is everybody doing tonight? So oh, Devron, big up yourself. Can you hear me on the live? Let me know. Can everybody hear me on the live? Please let me know if you can hear me loud and clear on the live. Yes. Okay, good. KBMP clothing. Big up to all those who are on the live right now tonight, guys. Welcome, welcome to a new episode of Let's Chat with I Carry and Brown. Today's tonight's topic is the controversial Bob Marley movie. Okay. Also the Haitian president. There has been a new um, investigation, new arrest in his case, where we all thought it was America involved, but no, America was not involved. And also, Wendy Williams was sending prayers to Wendy Williams, guys. Yeah, so big up to all those who are on the live tonight. KBMP clothing, Michael 5608, Devron, Devron Russ Brown. And cruising doesn't cruising doesn't pick up ourselves. Yes, yeah, so guys, anybody watch the Bob Marley movie? Let us chat about the Bob Marley movie. First and foremost, let us get this out the way right now. The Bob Marley movie. Any thoughts, any comments? No, I have not seen it as yet. And I don't think I will be seeing that movie because that movie so far. What I have heard from people that went to go see the movie is basically about Rita Marley and Bob Marley love affair. Right? Yeah. Anybody want to comment? Um, medical, medical spa queens, New York, big up yourself on the live. So anybody want to come on the live and talk and share their opinion about the Bob Marley movie, your thoughts? KBMP closing it's about his musical journey, right? It's about his musical journey of him and Rita Marley, how he got started. Yeah. It's basically not about his entire life, but it's just about his music life in a two hour movie, right? An hour or whatever minutes it is. But we thank Ziggy Marley for trying. And guys, the movie went number one at the box office. Of course, we all knew that because of all the controversy. I don't know. There was a controversy sell, so there you go. Bob Marley movie was number one at the box office. Um, people were expecting it to be a um, bibliography. Really? Why? Why would they? Why were they expecting that? Some people were expecting it to summarize his entire life, which it didn't, because. Listen, Bob Marley lived a good life, a good long life. He was, what, 30-something, I believe, when he passed away, right? Yeah. So the movie, I don't know. I'm, I think I might actually go and see the movie, guys. But I'm not ready to see it yet. Um, it went worldwide, of course. Big up to Ziggy Marley. And, you know, Jamaicans, we need to be proud of each other because... Who else make a movie go international even before it even was officially released? The movie, everybody was talking about this movie before it released, right? Yeah. The Stone Powerhouse, big up yourself. Thank you for joining. So, guys, the Bob Marley movie, I'm just going to give you my thought, my opinion, since nobody don't want to join in. Um... I am I have not seen it as yet and yes I am going to see it when I'm going to see it I'm not sure when I'm going to see it but I am going to see it eventually um from the people them that are in reggae dance or music who I have already seen and spoken to about the movie who have gone to see it they said they did like the movie yes but it wasn't about his entire life basically it was just the, they said the first two years of his, uh, it was the first two years of his life when he was growing up with his mom. Um, they did include his father a little bit. 
and then it went on to certain things that we knew about already for those who are jamaicans like myself i already know the entire bob marley story so i don't really need to go and see this movie because i already know his entire story already but big up to ziggy marley you know for always putting his father in that spotlight highlighting his father and also his mother as well because ziggy marley come out strong Farita marley yeah during that controversy over this uh yeah with you know some like uh side chick of bob marley from the past who needs to you know go sit down and make the son make a movie about them if, if she want movie well i'm just repeating what people say guys under the comment section yes of course so bob marley movie was number one in the box office congratulations i know they say it's an american company that invested money into the bob marley movie so yeah big up to ziggy marley big up to entire marley family and all these things movie was number one congrats next now let me go on to the controversial topic guys i want to talk about yes and it's on this phone of mine here now you guys remember the haitian president right yeah we all remember the haitian president <coughs> during the covid time yeah when he was assassinated or killed right anyway breaking news um arrested for his murder guys is his wife yes the haitian president wife guys has been locked up it says the widow of haiti's former president among those indicted over his assassination so for all those i remember when i first heard of the haitian president passing that people were saying that it was america that did away with him because he didn't want the covid the covid um the covid injection in his country fine but now a couple days ago breaking news this came out february 20th that it was his wife his wife guys maybe they're using her as a cover-up well who knows we don't know what was her reason exactly what was her reason to kill her husband they said she wanted to become president so do you guys think that is enough that is enough um for her to go kill off her husband because she wants to become president like seriously your husband you married over a powerful man that is in control of your country and you went and go team up with other people to get him out the picture assassinate him just so you the wife can become president like really seriously come on anyway so let me read what cnn says it that doesn't sound right exactly doesn't anyway so cnn guys i'm reading off my next phone here it says the wife of haiti's former president jovenel moise martin moise and the former prime minister claude joseph are among 51 people jesus 51 people who have been indicted over the assassination of the former president according to a 122 page document from the judge presiding over the investigation moise was assassinated in the presidential residence on july 7th 2021 after more than two dozen armed men jesus two dozen for one person after more than two dozen armed men swarmed the president's compound he was shot 12 times and killed mrs mistress moise was also shot multiple times but survived in the document dated january 25th and made public by the online haitian news site um, Aibo Post on Monday, Judge Walter Wesser said Mrs. Morris conspired with the former prime minister to replace the president. What? Wow. 
The 51 people named in the indictment are facing charges ranging from complicity and criminal association, armed robbery, terrorism, assassination, and crimes committed to the prejudice of former President Jovenel Moise, it said. The order claims there is serious and sufficient evidence against those mentioned. Guys, this is crazy. Your own wife. Huh? But then again, I always tell people we are living in, I don't, I, I don't mean to sound biblical or sound like a pastor or something, but guys, we are living in some serious times now where people are doing some crazy stuff to please themselves, to please their egos, um, to make themselves feel good. And yo, this is some low, like low. This is like some low now. Come on, 51 people for one person? Two dozen armed men for one person? Why? Was it worth it in the end? That's what I like to ask these criminals, these people that, you know, take another person's life for whatever reason it is. Was it worth it in the end when they are found out, when they are caught? You know what I'm saying? Was it worth it? That's what I want to know. Put, put that on mute or something because you no, know, no, I, I won't lie. Our KBMP clothing says some people put too much effort in taking another person down instead of building themselves up. Thank you, KBMP clothing. Why? Why did she conspire with 50 other people to kill her husband? Hmm? You made a vow in front of the world to be loyal to the man, to love and honor him and cherish him. And you went and you conspired with 51, with 50 other people to take your own husband life just because you want to be president, just because maybe some money might be involved and now she's behind bars with the other 50 people. And I want to know how, the, how did they find this out because this is crazy, people. Anyway, rest in peace to the Haitian president and condolence to his family members his real family members and that do care about him and if he has i'm not sure if they have kids or not but listen to me people i always tell you guys out there just to be careful be careful of the people around you please be careful of the people around you it doesn't matter who these people around you are it could be your family members it could be your friends it could be your co-workers just be careful of the people around you because not every smiling face is a friend not every smiling face is your family not every smiling face means you good people you have to go and pray you know i am not a christian yeah I believe in God, but I'm not a Christian because some of the worst people on this earth call themselves Christians. You hear that? So, big up to all who believe in God. Big up to all who, you understand me? Who have a clean heart and a clean conscience. Big up to all positive people out there. But come on, the Haitian president killed by his own wife and 50 other people for what? So she never loved him then. What is love nowadays anyway, right? Because people jump into relationships so often. For what? We don't know. But it's crazy. But as I said, the Haitian president, wife and 50 other people have been indicted in his assassination. And let us just hope and pray for justice for the Haitian president. He did his best to protect his people, right? I know Haiti was one of the countries that didn't want no COVID uh, vaccine. And he stood up very, very strongly for his people. Um, you know, so rest in peace to the Haitian president. Let us watch how this case goes, guys. You know, CNN and the big entertainment blogs and have the story going on. So let us watch and see what happens in this case. And we pray for justice for the fallen. It's so sad. 50 people taking on one man and the and the article said that he was shot like uh 
12 times or something like that. Mighty God of Jehovah. Mm -mm. Look at his wife. Eh? Look at her sitting in, boy, you would never think. But then again, looks don't mean nothing nowadays, yeah? It's all about spirit, spiritual war, spiritual, um, wickedness and all these things. And, and on the topic of um, assassination and marriage and husband and wife, all those of you who watch um, Housewives of Atlanta, breaking news, Portia Williams is getting a divorce, guys. Yeah, she's, she's, um, so Portia Williams, you all know from Love and, um, not Love, sorry, from Housewives of Atlanta, filed for divorce from her Nigerian husband. Portia Williams files for divorce from Simon, let me try to pronounce his name now, Guoba Dia. Simon Guobadia after 15 months of marriage. What is going on with these celebrities and them get married today and tomorrow them get divorced? What's going on there? Right, guys? Yeah, it's crazy. So Portia Williams getting divorced after one year. I don't understand. The rich people them take marriage like like how they um change the clothes like seriously one year anyway she's gonna be coming back on this season of um housewives of atlanta so if you guys watch the housewives series check out portia williams return back to housewives of atlanta guys all right guys i'm not gonna stay too long tonight because it's friday night so I did the Bob Marley movie. I did the Haitian president. And now, uh, Wendy Williams. Yes. So you guys know about the famous American talk show host, very extravagant lady, Wendy Williams. So her family or her guardian, they recently announced that she has been diagnosed with it says diagnosed with primary progressive hypatia and frontotemporal dementia i have to go google what those two words mean because i've never heard those words before but so popular tv talk show host wendy williams you guys know that she was going through some health problem um health problems over the past couple of years she came out and she told us her issues that she was having you know in order to save some other people who might have the same diagnosis as herself but now it's gotten worse where now it says she has front frontotemporal dementia and something else progressive hap asia and anybody know what these two words mean like comment below here um it's so sad because she's a very influential woman, you know, Wendy Williams. Um, it says that Williams, 59, who hosted her talk show, The Wendy Williams Show, for more than a decade, has been open in the past about her prolonged health struggles, which includes grave disease and a thyroid condition. Lord, that's so much things she have. But now she was um, diagnosed with this frontotemporal dementia. It says in 2023 and those diagnoses have enabled wendy to receive the medical care she requires yeah but it's so sad guys you know it's very sad like such a powerful woman in the entertainment industry and to just fade away just like that why but how this article came about guys is um tomorrow which is saturday february 24th lifetime tv is coming out with a documentary about the life of wendy williams and it's titled where is wendy williams but some controversies around that too guys because guess what now yes if you guys um are following my pages you will see that i posted a video with um black china talking to wendy williams 
and um yeah that little clip with black china talking to wendy is from the document the lifetime tv documentary guys about wendy williams that will be premiering tomorrow saturday february 24th at 8 p.m on lifetime tv check it out if it's still up there because now breaking news i was doing my research and i found out that wendy williams guardian has filed a lawsuit against lifetime parent company ahead of new documentary what is going on everything just pure controversy anyway it says here lifetime new documentary where is wendy williams explores the star's life under her guardianship so she has a guardianship okay well the guardian for wendy william um wendy williams has filed a lawsuit against lifetime parent company a and e television networks the guardian whose name is sabrina morrissey filed the suit under seal on thursday two days before the planned premiere of lifetime new documentary where is wendy williams which explores williams life under her guardianship the new lawsuit appears to be filed as an attempt to prohibit the airing of the of the upcoming document where is wendy williams so wendy williams guardian doesn't want this movie to be to premiere tomorrow guys so that is why i told you it's coming out tomorrow night at 8 uh, 8 p.m on lifetime tv if it comes out if you guys have lifetime tv and you see it tomorrow please come back and comment on this video and let me know if you saw it i'm gonna check it out too our kbmp said her family should have been her guardian not some random person of the law okay you see with that now with that where a guardianship comes in who's not a family member it is because maybe the state sees something going on because your family sometimes like i said the people around you doesn't mean that they mean you good okay so maybe the state saw something fishy going on and they appointed wendy williams a guardian who is not her family member to protect her assets so who knows you know but the guardian doesn't want the movie to premiere tomorrow well the documentary about when they would them to premiere tomorrow so let us see if it premieres tomorrow on lifetime at 8 p.m guys right yeah yeah that is it well guys what are your thoughts what are your comments um please leave your comment below if you're watching this right now britney spears got a guardianship and look what happened to her what happened to britney spears i don't know what happened to her didn't she get married or something and i don't know life happens she went crazy <laughs> she went crazy right well you know nothing is perfect in life so we're gonna do right yeah anyway guys remember next month is irama award show in florida big up to richie innocent he is nominated um make sure you go out and vote for your favorite um nominees um i believe the the list is going to be closing soon to nominate to vote so check out um the irama page instagram page or google the irama nomination list so you can vote for your favorite artist favorite poet favorite whatever you like yeah over there and do remember sunday july 7th kbmp sip and paints in the park guys we do have early bird tickets up for sale on the eventbrite website so check it out i'm going we're going to have a professional painting teacher everything is all inclusive the painting supplies the canvas tables and chairs the refreshments everything is inclusive guys so get your early bird ticket from today and save the date sunday july 7 2024 queens new york we're gonna be in the park under a shaded tent yeah it's kbmp sip and paints events yeah summer events and also check out our website 
um, www.kerryambramusicpromotions.com for our merch, our t-shirt, hoodies, accessories. Um, I think there's a couple dresses up there and a couple, you know, fandangles for, you know, jewelry, earrings, whatever it is. Check out the website. Please support your local small businesses. Um, it's 2024. I am encouraging everybody to please support your local small businesses in your community, such as mine. Of course. Why not? And I will support yours. You know, one hand wash the other. Yeah. Anyway, guys, so that is it for this week. Let's chat with I Carry and Brown. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, big up to the sponsors of KBMP Sip and Paint, which are KBMP Clothing, KBMP Edibles, KXN Records as well, and myself. Big up to all entrepreneurs. Anything else? I don't know. Just be safe, guys, out there. Watch your surroundings. KBMP Edibles is here. Big up to KBMP Edibles. Yay. Everybody is here. My my entire team is here. Yeah. Big up to my entire team. Yay, KBMP Edibles. What a one. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. So, later.